What's up my YouTube family? I'm back here with another quick and easy ice cream recipe. Today's flavor is going to be pineapple coconut. So here's all of what you will need to make this. I have my fresh pineapples that I cut up into small cubes. You can also use frozen or canned. Just make sure that they are drained. I have my heavy whipping cream, my condensed milk. I have my cornstarch, vanilla, shredded coconut. You can use sweetened or unsweetened. That's your preference. That will be up to you. Here I have coconut extract, some water, and some sugar. All right, let's get to the stove and cook these pineapples down into a jam. Okay, to a medium pot, you're gonna add your pineapples. Sugar. Cornstarch. And your water. And you wanna mix this up until it's fully incorporated. And you're gonna cook this down for about 10 to 15 minutes until it becomes like a jam. But I'll show you every step of the way to make sure that you get it right. So for now, we're gonna leave this. And make sure that you are constantly stirring this. Don't leave this alone for too long because you don't want it to burn or clump up. So I'll be back when it's midway to show you exactly what it's supposed to look like. Okay guys, so while our pineapples are cooking down into a jam and we are stirring them occasionally, you wanna take half of your coconut and put it into a pan. It doesn't have to be a fancy pan, but you're gonna to toast this just a little bit. And this is going to be for the topping. We're not gonna put any of this into the ice cream because you don't want these strands of uh, coconut in the middle of it. it. Might be a little annoying to you know keep on chewing, but that's what that's for. So we are going to put this in the oven at about 400 degrees for about maybe three to five minutes, maybe six, but you wanna keep an eye on it because it can and it will burn very quickly. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'll be back. All right, guys, and our pineapples are done. I mashed them up the best that I could. If you don't wanna use a, a spatula, if you don't wanna use a spatula, you can definitely use like a potato masher or whatever, but these are done and this is the consistency that you want. Our jam is done. So we are going to turn this off and allow it to cool completely. So let's get started on our ice cream base. Oh guys, before we start our ice cream base, let me just show you what the coconut, the toasted coconut should look like. See, that is done perfectly. So now we can start our ice cream base. Okay guys, so I got my chilled mixing bowl for my stand mixer you can definitely use a hand mixer whichever works best for you and whichever is convenient for you so I'm gonna add my heavy whipping cream my condensed milk I should be on the other side of this Let's get all of this condensed milk because every bit of it is needed. All right, that should do. Okay, to that, we're gonna add our vanilla. Coconut extract. And we're gonna mix this on low. And we're gonna mix this on a low to medium speed until it forms a soft peak. I will show you exactly what it's supposed to look like. I'm not gonna keep you guys here for this boring and loud part of the video. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so it looks like our coconut ice cream base is done. And let me show you the texture that it should be. Okay, this is what you want. You want it to be a soft peak, like ice cream, 
base so you don't want it to be too thick not too thick okay and that took about uh, 10 to 15 minutes because I had it on high speed while I was off camera so now I'm gonna get the pineapple jam and we're gonna mix that in all right guys so we're gonna take some of this amazing pineapple jam that we made doesn't this look good I think so and we're gonna add it to our base and ah, should have moved that but I didn't and we're just gonna fold that in So what I put in was about, with that size spoon, probably about three tablespoons of the mix, but we are going to be adding one more because the rest of it we're gonna use for the topping with the uh, toasted coconut and the uh, untoasted coconut. So I say we put three fourths of the mix and just fold that in. Looks good. Uh, not. There's what we got, guys. I know this is gonna be so good. So I'm gonna get my ice cream container that I had chilling in the freezer for about a half an hour now, so we can layer this ice cream. All right, guys. So I got my container. We're going to be adding the full amount of this batter into this container. Alright, gonna smooth it out. That looks good. I can see every bit of pineapple all throughout this mixture. All right guys, so now we're gonna take that leftover pineapple jam and just put like little dollops of it onto the top layer. That should be fine. Now you wanna get a toothpick and just kinda like make little swirls with it right at the top. Just make like a pretty design, whatever you may like. And that's it for that part. Okay, now we're gonna take our toasted coconut and add that untoasted, add that untoasted coconut. Just mix it a little bit. See? Now we are actually going to drizzle this on. Well, sprinkle, not drizzle. So guys, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I drop a new video. And we can always take it from there, but definitely let me know in the comments what you think of this recipe. So right now, with this, I am completely done. I am going to put the cover on it and put it in the freezer anywhere from four to six hours or overnight, which is best. And I will show you the final results when this is done. See you soon. Okay, my YouTube family. So our ice cream is done. Here are the finished results. And it looks absolutely delicious. I hope that you guys give this recipe a chance. Try it out. Let me know in the comments below how you liked it. 
And if you have any problems with doing anything, also reach out to me and let me know. I usually respond right away or in a matter of an hour. And also make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you can be alarmed when I go live or even post a new recipe video. So we're going to scoop some of this out so that you guys can see exactly how it looks. Let me just turn, let me turn it this way. Guys, look at how good this looks. It's nice and creamy, full of flavor, and it smells amazing. So we're just gonna finish this off with a few of those toasted coconut flakes that we had left over. And there you have it guys, pineapple coconut ice cream. Guys, look how amazing this looks. And it's very creamy. Nice and soft. 